Hi, my name's Sarah Louise Aston, and whenever I used to get dumped, I would indulge in my favourite chocolate bar, an aero. I believe you are what you eat, I'm very bubbly, but obviously the weight piled on, so I decided the next time I got dumped, I'd take up a new hobby, distract myself, positively, but creatively. <laughs> so I took up the guitar. <laughs> well, I say took it up, I picked it up, and then when I got dumped again, I learned a chord or two. I'm gonna sing you a song I wrote. It's about a boyfriend, an ex-boyfriend I had, and I wrote this song after my 30th birthday. It didn't bother me being single at 30. I knew I was gonna be all right. My previous guy never took me out in daylight. I thought it was because he was a vampire. Unfortunately not, he was just a liar. He liked a window shop, I'd hoped he'd treat me. But whenever I went to his house, he'd charge me for a wee. One time, I didn't have any cash on me. Oh, that's all right, darling, he said. I take credit or debit card payments. The relief I felt. But then he asked me if I was collecting the club points. What a silly question. Obviously, yes. I was saving for a holiday, I knew he wasn't going to pay. I'm not silly. It didn't bother me, being single at 30. I knew I was going to be alright, my previous guy. Light to hang around Heathrow, hoping for that last minute budget flight. Apparently he's still at the airport. <laughs> I accidentally, on purpose, told me to get flights to Butlins. Bogner to be precise. It must be the blonde in me. If you're driving by Heathrow, feel free to give him a wave. Or any kind of hand gesture. I do, but then I'm a terrible flirt. His living room gave the game away. Alan Sugar's book, that was on display. Richard Branson's bio, that was there too. Next to a piggy bank that stank of old shoe. It didn't bother me, being single at 30. I knew I was going to be all right, my previous guy. Like to split the bill on date night. When the bill came out itemised, his face lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, he was a prick. He always kept his wallet in his inside pocket. Next to that was a monkey horse locket. Convinced the throat sweet was lucky and magic. Treating me to dinner for him seemed tragic. He cried once. Mind you, so did I. Don't get me wrong, I love a Big Mac. But it was our six month anniversary. I can't help thinking if we'd gone to Nando's, we could have actually sat inside the restaurant. It didn't rain for long. It didn't bother me, being single at 30. I knew I was gonna be all right, my previous guy. <laughs> my friends would say, Sarah Louise, he's a little bit tight. I thought it was endearing. For years I was oblivious to men who were kind. I didn't know they existed, I thought I'd lost my mind. But then I met this boy, quirky, weird, a bit like me. We ended up dating over a cup of Rosie Lee. Rosie Lee is Cockney, you know. It means cup of tea. I love learning new languages. We had our date in Cafe Rouge in Hartford. Lovely little spot he paid. I thought, well, hello, <laughs> there's a keeper. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I'm now 40. I'm fine. I'm all right. Two years ago now, we had a party. And my dress was very pretty. But it was also white. Actually, it was ivory. Get the idea, though. Proper wedding. His face. It was a picture. When he woke up, we're married! <laughs> oh, he's still getting used to it. The counselling's helping. Wedding present. The thing is, I know he'll be fine because the week before we got married, he went paragliding. He's into all that extreme sports malarkey. It's a win-win situation. <laughs>